Hey everybody, George Gardner at Gardner Painting Services. Um, today we're going over the use and, and maintenance of uh, pressure washing equipment. Uh, we are getting ready to wash the exterior of this home, uh, preparing it for a full exterior paint. Um, today we're using the Mighty M 3000 PSI uh, Chore Master, a good uh, single user machine. It's about 70 to 80 pounds, not too difficult to load and unload for one person. Um, General setup is, of course, the machine. As much pressure line as you're going to need. We're using about 75 feet here. And then your own uh, or our own water line, uh, water hose. We always provide our own. I don't like using the homeowners. Um, I don't like risking any, any uh, potential uh, damage to their, to their water line or my machine. Um, that being said, of course, you've also got the pressure gun. You're going to need to bring whatever cleaning detergents you're going to use. Um, in this case, we're going to use a, a diluted chlorine and um, fuel. Definitely make sure and always load fuel. Uh, before you do anything, check the fuel level. Uh, we've already done that here. We've filled up the tank. She's good to go. Um, Check the water source, make sure the water is running. Don't just hook it up, turn it on, and then crank the machine over. Cardinal rule is never fire the machine up unless the water is running into it. Otherwise, you run the risk of uh, damaging the, the, uh, the unit. Okay, that all said, components to the machine include the chemical injector, which simply attaches right down here. You've got... Your, your fuel on and off, your throttle, your power switch, and then your pull rope. Um, we've already tested the water. David, if you'll go ahead and, well, before we do that, we're, before we turn the water on, you want to go ahead and attach your pressure line. These are quick connect couplers. You just slide that ring back, this ring right here. Um, it, install the line and then snap the ring back over and make sure that it's sn it snaps and as David just did just make sure that that's that's uh, firmly connected same uh, with your gun um, and same uh, attachment system go ahead and un undo it David and then redo it and I'll get a close-up for new folks to understand these can be a little tricky uh, every couple of weeks, we'll go ahead and, and give it a little shot of WD. Um, if you'll go ahead and attach that and snap it, and it's good to go. Next, we're going to turn the water on. Um, again, we've already confirmed the water is, is uh, operational. And David's going to turn that on. I'm going to go ahead and grab the gun. I'm going to take the tip out which all connect the same way as the water line. And David's just gonna pull that trigger. And the reason he's doing that is just to purge out any air bubbles, any debris, um, depending on how long or how often you use your equipment, you might get bugs and insects in the lines. Um, so we wanna make sure and blow all that out. Looks good, no air coming out. I'm now gonna make sure my fuel is turned on. My choke is set at choke and the throttle down. Power switch is on, water's turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. And once I do that, I'll then adjust the throttle to wide open and I'll switch my choke over to run up here. So here we go. And now I'm changing the throttle. And there it is, she's good to go. Now, um, a little bit about tips. We've got a variety of tips here, all provide a different amount of pressure, um, depending on what we're looking for. The black tip is, is it's either gonna be black or brass, um, and that is your soap tip. When you have your chemical injector in, in, uh, embedded into your cleaning detergent, um, whenever you have this tip or no tip in the gun, when you activate or pull the trigger on the gun, it's going to bleed the um, cleaning solution through the system, and that's how we apply our, uh, our cleaners to the sidewall substrates. Um, and then again, there's a variety of tips. 
uh, you just can try out each one to see what what type of pressure you need um, they're determined by degree um, and then you've got your red tip uh, in this case is a zero tip that's a straight blast um, rarely if ever does anybody in our company ever need that tip now that being said we also have what's called an oscillating tip now this is a roto tip oscillating tip a lot of guys use different terms for it but basically the way this functions um, is it sends out a large amount of pressure in a in a circular pattern and it really does wonders as far as removing embedded contaminants in substrates um, great little tool for uh, pave uh, uh, I'm sorry concrete driveways sidewalks walkways um, again, not something you're going to use on a softer substrate like a wood, um, or, or if you do, it's, it's only under very uh, unique circumstances. So there you go. There's the basic rundown on pressure washing.